How was the washing machine made? There's so much in our everyday lives today that we take for granted. Take your clothing, for instance. How often are the specific garments you're wearing right now washed? How much effort does it take you? There's a good chance your answer is none. I just throw them in the washing machine and forget about it. Exactly. Your washing machine does all the work for you, making an otherwise tedious and exhausting process barely a chore. Most people never stop to think just how many years of hard work, innovation, and invention went into that simple appliance that's in almost every modern home today. If you're like most people, you're in luck because that's exactly what we'll cover in today's video. How the washing machine was made. So stick around and find out. Primitive Laundry For thousands of years before the idea of a washing machine was even conceived in the late 19th century, all laundry was done the hard way, the very hard way. It was an arduous task that required a hefty amount of manual labor. Clothes were washed by hand, a process that involved rubbing them against rough surfaces like rocks or washboards and beating them with sticks. Then rinse and repeat. Literally. The clothes were rinsed in nearby streams or rivers, and then the whole process was repeated a few times until the results were acceptable. The process also involved searching for rocks, sticks, and scrubbing materials that were clean enough to be used for the laundry, as well as looking for a nearby water source that had fresh, clean water. Imagine how tough things would have been in regions where water sources were scarce, like deserts. Suffice it to say, our ancestors were most likely not very keen on laundry day, and for good reason. In fact, in the 19th century, laundry was called the most detested household chore, as well as the American housekeeper's hardest problem. Early Innovators The long and tedious task of washing clothes manually continued for most of history, until one day humanity decided that they had had enough. Inventors who were entranced with the wonders of automation began exploring ways to mechanize the laundry process. One of the earliest such innovations was the box mangle of the 17th century, which used rollers to wring out excess water from clothes. The machine was operated by one or two people who pulled on levers or turned cranks to turn the rollers and wring the clothes. Another massively popular invention was the washboard, invented in 1800, which was almost universally used in households for many years to come, even after the popularization of washing machines. Then came the hand-cranked machines, which tried to replicate the motion of washing with a washboard. They used rotating cylinders or poles with wooden pegs for dragging clothes through water and getting all the dirt off. An example was the cataract washer of 1831, which used a hand crank to rotate clothes inside a drum. Although these methods were already a huge step up over the painstaking task of scrubbing clothes with rocks over a river, it still did require a fair amount of effort to operate the hand-cranked machines and to supply them with water. The Industrial Revolution In the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution finally came about, which, as you know, changed the game for automation forever. Laundry was no exception here, and washing machine technology experienced a great leap forward. With the arrival of mechanized production processes, great advancements were made such as the standardization of components needed to manufacture the washing machines of that era. Factories equipped with specialized machinery dedicated to assembling washing machines, alongside the division of labor on specific factory tasks, led to a massive boost in assembly times and production outputs. If there was any time for washing machines to take a big step forward, this was it. And so they did in the form of the steam-powered washing machine, which made use of steam to agitate and clean clothes. Steam power allowed for larger and more efficient machines to be developed, which in turn increased the capacity and speed of the washing process. A popular example was the Patent Universal Washing and Wringing Machine, patented by Stephen Rust in 1858. Although the steam-powered washing machines of the 1850s were a hit for their efficiency and thoroughness, they were mainly confined to commercial laundry facilities and larger industrial settings. Because of their massive size, huge costs, and dangerous operating procedures, they didn't manage to make their way into households, where the washboard and wringer still dominated the scene. 
Emergence of Electric Washing Machines At the turn of the 20th century, the electrification of households began to gain momentum in many parts of the world. By 1900, small motors were sold for use with the hand cranks on washing machines. In the years after that, several patents showed up for electric-powered washing machines. They all offered several advantages over their manual or mechanically powered counterparts, such as being more efficient, as the electric motor provided a consistent and powerful source of energy for agitating the clothes. This resulted in cleaner and better maintained garments. This was only exacerbated by the growing availability of electricity in urban areas at the time, with electric-powered appliances being hugely popular in households, and manufacturers seizing the opportunity to double down on the production of such appliances. The pioneering engineering achievement of this time was the first commercially sold electric washing machine, the Thor, invented by brilliant engineer and inventor Alva J. Fisher. Produced by the Chicago-based Hurley Electric Laundry Equipment Company in 1907 and patented three years later in 1910, the Thor was the first truly electric washer that required no human intervention during the washing process. Its compact design was perfect for household usage, unlike its predecessor, and it was mass-marketed in the U.S. after 1908. The patent for it contains many features that sound modern even today, it contained a perforated cylinder, much like the machines we see today, that was rotatably mounted within the tub containing the wash water. The cylinder would rotate and agitate the clothes inside, cleaning off dirt and grime. After eight rotations in one direction, the machine would automatically reverse directions. The design even included an emergency stop rod in case of any disasters. Suffice it to say that the Thor revolutionized the idea of laundry, paving the way for modern washing machines. What was once considered the most detested chore had now finally become something that was fully automatic. Household appliances under the Thor name are being sold even today. After the emergence and mass adoption of electric washing machines, even further innovations were made to the existing designs. Agitators, which were introduced in the early electric models, greatly improved the washing process. These rotating devices moved the clothes through the water, ensuring thorough cleaning. In fact, the Thor had a hand in both of these innovations too, with the invention of the Tilt-A-Whirl agitator incorporated in the 1936 version of the product. A few more notable advancements made during this time were automatic timers that eliminated the need for a human to manually turn off the machine to finish the washing process, ringers which were integrated into the machines, allowing for better water extraction from the clothes and reducing drying times, and also spin cycles which is a stage at the end of the washing process in which the machine's drum rapidly spins around to fling excess water off the clothes and further reduce the drying times. Evolution and Modern Laundry Since then, the rest is history. As the world grew increasingly modern, advancements were consistently made on the washing machine front. The 1950s saw the introduction of top-loading washing machines in which the clothes were simply loaded in from a lid at the top becoming a standard design for decades to come, even today. In the following years, the front-loading design of washing machines with their iconic circular door at the front became popular for their efficient water usage and cleaning performance. In the late 20th century, electronic controls and digital displays became commonplace in washing machines. These features allowed for greater precision in selecting wash cycles, water temperatures, and spin speeds. Soon, with the increased energy consumption of machines and the rising global awareness over sustainability, manufacturers began focusing on energy efficiency and environmental impact in response to growing concerns about resource conservation. Energy star ratings and eco-friendly features became important considerations for consumers. High efficiency machines, introduced in the 1990s and 2000s, further improved water and energy conservation. These machines use less water and detergent, while achieving similar or even better cleaning results. Washing machines also introduced numerous features to cater to different fabric types and laundry needs. These include special wash cycle options like delicate cycles, quick washes, steam cleaning, and more. Modern, cutting-edge machines have gone even further, introducing connectivity with other devices like our smartphones through Wi-Fi allowing for remote control and monitoring. 
Some even make use of smart sensors that can adjust water levels and wash cycles based on load size and fabric type. We've definitely come a long way. So, that was the story of how the clothes you have on right now went from being scrubbed and beaten with sticks before being rinsed over a river to a sophisticated, fully automated washing process that you don't even need to think twice about anymore. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.